So guys, Master Moose here. Got my third part of my building your AR-15 video. I know, still, just gonna mess around with this lower receiver a little bit. My PC Rich and Gibson out of here. Set them on the table, cause then they don't fall over. I learned that the hard way, leaning guitars up against uh, walls. Bad idea. Anyway, so uh, got a couple of shoutouts before I start this video. Uh, Jaymore 3192, I think it is, uh, told me about this awesome way to fill your markings on your lower receiver. Some pretty inexpensive uh, enamel paint for like uh, model cars and all that garbage, but it's like a buck and a half, I think, so pretty cheap. Then for white, I'm too cheap to buy another one of those for a buck and a half, so white out. And then too cheap to buy enamel fluid, or enamel thinner fluid, so got some Rosnol. And uh, toothpicks per, per paint brushes, so this is basically a poor man's or just cheap ass's uh, form of roll marking film. So, uh, start this out. I think I'm going to do the safe with the white out. Um, alright, let's, let's give this a try. So, from what I've heard, this is pretty foolproof and safe. I'm just going to wipe a little bit of it off. And get in there and get those tactically filled up with garbage. Back for seconds. It's best to do this while your lower is uh, stripped because then you don't have to worry about all your fancy switches and stuff. But, alright, that's on there. I'm gonna let it dry for like a second. We'll take our rag, I'll wipe it down, medium hard, and and I also got a little bit of ram oil here, stuff. I don't really use it that often to clean my guns anymore. Ooh. So, I'm going to use that to scrub down the area around the safe. And I think I'm going to do probably another layer of this because this is good, but... It's not 100% perfect yet. Don't worry, it will be, hopefully. It actually looks pretty good, honestly. Not that bad for just some whiteout that you have that are sitting in a drawer at your house. All right. So, there's that. No, uh, nothing around it, really. I'm just going to let what's in there dry for a few, and then uh, we'll get back to it in a minute. A little bit more rim oil here. I've heard it's a good idea to uh, wipe down your spot before you start with a little bit of rim oil, or something just to clean off all the fingerprints and stuff and it might be good to do this in gloves if you really want to get hardcore but not that hardcore here so I don't care alright so that's wiped down good now my main emblem and we will try that I will be right back in a second though I gotta go get a timer Oh uh, yeah, sorry, my memory card was out of space, so I had to go delete some junk. But there is my whiteout job. Honestly, not too bad in my opinion. Let's see if, how long that'll last. I mean we still got maybe to go over one more time for the A. Doesn't look quite perfect in person, but it's not bad actually, not bad at all, in my opinion, but 
let's move on to this enamel paint and Rosnol test. Alright, just this stuff. You can buy at Walmart. I use it for my Zippos because it's the cheapest. Give your paint a little shake or something. Pop it open. Grab a toothpick. And get a little dab on there. And just go to work. You're basically wanting it to fill in all of the lines on your receiver. I would really hope this <laughs> freaking uh, ladder fluid works. Alright, it's kind of blobby. That's why I have a handy dandy paintbrush somewhere. No clue where. I'll just use a toothpick to kind of spread it around and into some of the markings. One sec. So you're just gonna work at this for a little while. It's kind of a tedious process painting with a toothpick, but it's not that bad. Get over it. Um, so, uh, another channel that I've been watching a lot is uh, Accidental Broadcast. I don't know if you've ever seen him or care anything about, like, motorcycles. But this dude, like, lives in Maui, right? And he just, like, cruises around on his motorcycle. He's got like a dirt bike and he knows all like the back roads and all the shortcuts around town and stuff. So uh, he t basically takes you on tours through Maui with his dirt bike. Tells you all the stories of him growing up and everything. Really cool channel. It's a... Uh, yuck. Hate braces. Anyhow. Pretty sweet channel though. He's got like a... Kawasaki or whatever the hell they're called. I don't know. No fancy motorcycle brand names. But all in all, I would recommend you give them a check out. Um, so uh, on this, I'm basically go less than you think you really absolutely need. Because remember, less is more and you can always go back and do a second coat if it turns out real shitty. Which I'm not too concerned that it will. But with a uh, freaking lighter fluid, I don't know. Anything's possible. Anyhow, if it does, I'll have a story and whatever. Not too concerned about it. But uh, yeah, go check out Accidental Broadcast. Pretty sweet. He's, he's like a professional photographer in like real life or whatever. So he has really nice camera work. I really dig it. But uh. Basically trying to learn from him, learn the ways of camera-ing. You can, uh, I'll have a link here to his channel, or you can go to, uh, my page, and I think he's probably one of the most recent comments on my wall. Uh, there you go. Had that all, got that filled in, so. We'll close up our enamel paint and wait probably yeah, five minutes. I'm gonna... Quickly, let's see if I can find a business card real quick. Thank God I still have these sitting by my computer. Seen my first video about my ammo collection really bad because I don't know, I was just not very good at speaking to a camera back then. But ammo1.com, pretty sweet place. Check them out. Just basically taking their business card running it along here should try to wipe off some of the excess trying to keep it as flat as possible all right we'll use 
this end now. That already looks pretty badass. I hope I can get some of this other stuff off the top here. Probably shouldn't be trying to wipe it off right now, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I think that looks really cool. I don't want those thin spots to dry, leaving me without enamel thinner. I'm wiping very, very softly right now. Once again, learn from my mistakes, I'm sure. There's gonna be quite a few. I think right now I'm just kind of spreading it around, so you know what? I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes, and then I will be back. So, it has been mm, five, 10 minutes, and I let this dry old, dry old dried for a couple minutes. So, I'm gonna take my Rosnol and try to wipe off some of the excess. It's gonna be very, very light in this process so you don't get in the grooves and mess it all up. Rosnol seems to be working pretty good actually at wiping. All this away it's like not too too strong so you can apply a little bit of force but it's not too too light either so let me just keep working around on this and yeah that actually looks pretty darn good right there <laughs> 